Hi there, everyone. My name is Christian Eschbach, and welcome to another one of my album reviews. And we're slowly getting towards the end of this doing sampled electronic computer generated music run of albums of stuff that is in some cases been fun in other cases kind of been torture <laughs> all right let's get into our next album we are talking about jack soul sleepless all right i remember the name jack soul from back in the day this album was released in 2000 i remember the name back then I don't remember any music specifically associated to Jack Soul back then. So let's talk about the music. Album opens up with Sleepless Intro. Little 45 second instrumental piece. Way too short. If you're one of my regular viewers and you've been watching the last bunch of album reviews, this one will blow your mind when I'm complaining that a song on one of these albums is way too short. Gets going really nice on the instrumentals. Got this great funk to it. Oh, and, and they could have gone on with it, and they didn't. They they just cut it short. And but we'll come back around. <laughs> All right. Uh, then we get into. I know what you want. Ooh. All right. What I want is some heavy fucking metal at this point. <laughs> All right. Um, so I've got a bunch of notes I've written down, like everything else here. Uh, dude's got a voice. Reminds me, there's a little bit of Marvin Gaye, a little bit of Smokey Robinson, a little bit of Lionel Richie. I know it sounds like I don't know what the hell the differences are. And, and that is arguable. <laughs> now, from Marvin Gaye, what I'm hearing is I'm hearing that slight rough edge. A little bit of rasp. A little bit of... So I like to put a little stink, a little stink on that voice. But all soul, baby. Oh, yeah. Now, not the depth that you get with Marvin Gaye. The The vocal range is more the Lionel Richie, you know, like where the highs and the lows. That That's more where I'm getting the Lionel Richie from. The, the, the tone, the intonation of the voice. A little more Lionel Richie. That's, that's kind of where I want to go with that. But then the Smokey Robinson... Now, you get the soul of Marvin Gaye, but that doesn't mean you get the sultry. Smokey Robinson is where you go to get the sultry part of it. That real R&B sexy lay you down on a bed of silk sheets and light pillows and blah, 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 okay? So, based on my limited, limited, very, very small knowledge of R&B, um, true R&B I'm talking about here. Um, that that's where I go with that song. However, the drum sample, like I have complained about on so many of these albums that insist on using drum sampling, um, bugs the shit out of me. And if it isn't drum sampling, it is very bad, boring drums and done on an electric kit. <laughs> and, and you know what? I... I Oh, I put them away, didn't I? Oh, I packed mine up finally. I was going to show you guys my electric drums to show that, you know, I know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about electric drums. I have elect videos of me playing electric drums out there. If you go check out the Howling Odyssey, I don't mean to pitch my old band, but if you go check out the Howling Odyssey, there's literally a thing in there called the Electric uh, Drum Odyssey Parts 1 and Part 2. Anyways, moving on. Uh... So, uh, then from there, we are on to track 3, Can't Stop. Um, this is not what I was expecting at all. This is a complete, whoa. Um, we were definitely R&B, funk, soul, I hate to say, you know, black music, you know. <laughs> Typically, that's where the good stuff comes from, you know. Uh, so we go from that, and then all of a sudden we hit what I would call the Beach Boys with a modern twist, and modern being, you know, 2000, not... 2023 modern you know well, i mean i mean we're not in 2023 yet but close enough right okay anyways uh this is quite a surprise very pleasant surprise tool it's a really cool tune really kind of enjoy it get into it so at this point in the album i'm kind of like looking up i'm like all right this is gonna be kind of a way better album than i was expecting 
I've fallen for this more than once. And I'm disappointed that I've now fallen for it twice with these albums. Brandy got me really good on when I did her review with, you know, started hearing what was at the beginning and then was sorely disappointed through the rest of the album. Now, that doesn't happen here. I'm not sorely disappointed the whole way through the album. But I am going to say that there are definitely parts to this where I kind of... It's not me. All right. Uh, let me call you Baby. Now we enter the pure, slow, silky R&B phase. Um, but not that modern boys to men R&B. I'm talking like ones that, again, as I've already said, uh, <laughs> modern R&B boys to men. Oh, my God. Okay. So in 2000, that would have been modern R&B. So when I say modern R&B, any time going through here, I'm talking about 2000 R&B. I have not heard R&B in 2020s. I have no clue what R&B sounds like anymore in 2020s. All right. So <laughs> when I say modern, I'm referring to like the late 90s, early 2000s. Okay. All right. And even then, Boys to Men were still already been around for a while. So they weren't even that modern. Moving on. Okay. Um, let me call you baby. Got that silky smooth Smokey Robinson style iron B going on going. And and there's this one line, one phrase he uses in there. I absolutely love. I, I think it is so cute and adorable. It's when he uses the line sugar dumpling. After listening to Eminem and the understandable hostility towards his ex-wife. You know, I, I've known enough about Eminem to know all the problems that there were with the cu child custody agreements and all that fighting. And as a kid whose parents divorced, I, I, I get and, you know, been through a divorce myself, although I didn't want to kill my ex during my divorce. But I'm sure there's points where both my parents wanted to kill each other. <laughs> um, not that they would ever say that, but they couldn't say that because, you know, anyways. So after hearing and then DMX with bitches and hoes, um, you know, so... I'm at the point where here's someone use a term like sugar dumpling. Just kind of warms the heart, and I really appreciate it at this point. I think I should I think sugar dumpling is such a cute term. And I, I'm all for cute little names like that. Not necessarily for well, I mean for your girlfriend, for family members in general. Um, I mean, I've got one kid that has a cute nickname. My daughter, she has the cute nickname. I call her Snickerdoodle. And that's just because it was a reference to a show that we both enjoyed watching together. Okay, moving on. Sugar dumpling, so cute. Moving on. Next track, I Miss You. Um, this this one has a feeling that's even more of that old school slow r and I mean, Smokey Robinson wasn't always, you know, smooth and silky and slow and whatnot. But, you know, like you've got slow and then you got slow. I mean, like, you know, slow where it takes your fingers, you know, like two minutes to move from, you know, the bottom of the foot all the way up the thigh kind of thing. Some of you guys know what I'm talking about. Some of you ladies, which I don't know what my demographic is on that. I'm not sure to check. Uh, some of you ladies wish you knew what I was talking about. And uh, <laughs> anyways, so where I'm going with this is, uh, you know, they're slow and then they're slow. And when it goes slow, I, I'm really tuning out. <laughs> it gets a little too slow for me. Um, the problem with I Miss You is, you know, I mean, I miss you. And it's a slow song. So right away it tells you, you know, how basic it's going to be. And it is pretty basic. Um... I do enjoy the music in it. The strings in it and the organ in it are both really cool. That's kind of... I mean, when I say really cool, I mean, it's just... I like the way that they're put together. When I do a lot of electronic writing, um, I usually go to strings and organ um, myself. And the reason why is uh, you use strings when guitar doesn't work. And organ always sounds awesome, man. You get that cool church organ done. If you do it just right, it always sounds cool as far as I'm concerned. You know, Can you have too much of it? I don't know. Was there too much of it in the doors? Was there too much of it in Iron Butterfly? <laughs> okay. Uh, was there too much of it in House of the Rising Sun, the original version? All right, moving on. 
Um, one, uh, what, what is it next? Uh, next we got some days, some days. Yes. Um, now before I go on to some days, um, one nice part about the first five tracks is that they're all under four minutes. And you've been watching all my regular reviews as of this point, you know that the longer the songs get, the more drawn out they've been feeling. And even though I Miss You is a bit slower, it does not make it feel longer, which is really, really important because after some of the reviews I've been doing where, you know, they're writing four or five minute songs and the songs really should be clocking out at two, two and a half, or like, say about two and a half, three minutes tops. It's really nice to hear a song that's, you know, in the three and a half minute range or so that actually, well, sorry, three minutes, 16 seconds, according to the back here. Um, and it doesn't feel like this one, it feels three minutes and 16 seconds, but that's, it feels it's time. It doesn't feel over its time, which is wonderful. Uh, on the next song, Some Days. All right. Um, this is the wrong track in the wrong place. This is the third slower tempo, so slower tempo song in a row. And it really brings the album to a grinding halt for me at this point. Um, all the slow songs are all different from each other. So it's nice. Yes, you do have different slow songs, different vibes, different feels. It's not like it's just slow songs. It's, you know, it's not like, you know, three power ballads in a row kind of thing. Oh my God, that'd be hell. But it is three slow songs. Okay. So it really brings the album down, slows it right the hell down, kills the tempo. Um, also on some days, gratuitous use of the word baby on this one. And I will, in, I will defend the use of baby in some songs. Other songs, hell no. And this is one of those ones I will not defend the use of the word baby. Um, and basically at this point, everything I had been enjoying on the album is starting to fade out. Um, and this is the first song that does go over four minutes and it does feel two minutes too long, but that's just me. I guarantee there are going to be people out there that are going to be okay with this song. I don't think this is going to be like one of those songs that people are going to be like, Oh, you're a horrible human being. You talked about the greatest song you ever did. Blah, 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 blah. I, I just, I don't think anybody is going to believe that Some Days is his best song ever. But there are probably going to be fans of it. I could, I could see that happening. All right. Uh, then we're on to Never Say Goodbye. All right. So after the whole Brandy fiasco, when I saw there was a song called Never Say Goodbye on here, I all of a sudden started panicking, thinking, oh, crap, he covered Bon Jovi. Thank God that didn't happen. <laughs> If you don't know what I'm talking about with the Brandy fiasco, go back and rewatch the Brandy fiasco. You'll get what I'm saying. All right. So the title threw me off, clearly. Uh, this is still a mellow song, but it does have a little bit more life and energy to it. Um, and it's an acoustic rock kind of number. So um, with a little Spanish flair thrown in on the guitar. I want to say... And when I say Spanish, I mean, we're kind of talking like mariachi band kind of spanish you know a little flamenco guitar in there um but the problem is is the slowdown from the previous songs really kind of cause a retention issue when you hit this one and it just doesn't recapture the energy that was going on at the beginning of the album in general it kind of this one in particular Reminds me a lot of 80s metal bands when they were doing acoustic stuff. Um, and as a full compliment, uh, Extreme in particular is kind of where I want to go with this. And more than words, you know. So I'm not, and I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of more than words. And honestly, if I had to say between, but that's where I really want to go with this. The way this sounds is I really want to kind of go with more than words, but with, you know, some mariachi flamenco kind of guitar thrown in over top all right um she gone she's gone sorry uh follows that up uh this one had me tuning out right at the start from the moment it gets going um i just it's a track filler 
That, that's all it is. Uh, maybe not an entire toss away, but not the song that was needed at this point in the album. Uh, now we get to Never Give You... Or what is it? Never Give Your Love Away? Yep, yeah, Never Give Your Love Away. I'm really bad about writing down the titles properly when I uh, do my notes, apparently. Uh, this one's got uh, a funk rhythm with a slow Latin guitar. Latin guitar is pretty popular throughout the whole entire thing here, which is cool. You know, Latin guitar always adds a nice flair, especially to these kind of songs. Um... And more of those vocals I've already talked about. The whole thing's just got this kind of sexy kind of vibe to it. Sort of. Uh, it's slower, but it does lean a little more into the vibe. You know, so you can tell when a song feels like it's kind of being pushed forward a little bit. Where, you know, you're leaning a little heavier on the up-tempo, I guess. And... Instead of having that more laid back kind of drive, like as a drummer, drummers would understand what I'm saying. You know, as a drummer, this unfortunately is not real drums, but you know, you just kind of got that. Even if you're using maracas, you know, you got that. You're kind of leaning into it. You got that. You could be going at the same tempo. You just kind of lean in. You got that energy leaning into it, right? Or you got that, you know, same speed, but you pull back. So it's got that more laid back kind of, you know, that that's what I'm talking about. You know, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go down to your kitchen. Get a salt shaker. Don't make a mess. You know, put your hand over it and just kind of shake the, shake the salt shaker. Lean forward when you're shaking the salt shaker. Lean backwards, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, wow. Um, but the, where I'm going with this is the leaning forward makes it feel more lively. Gives it a little bit, uh, makes you pay a little bit more attention to it. Even though it is still a slower song, but at least it, it's giving a little pulse back. Um, but I, at this point in the album, me personally, I could really use a heavy, upbeat kind of song. Something with some real tempo to it. Um, then we're on to Baby I Adore You, and this one simply, nope, I'm out. Two minutes too long. I remember the wah guitar is okay, but overall I'm bored. Don't tell me the instrumentation is kind of interesting. As usual, the percussion sucks, and then there's the continuous slow tempo issue. And we get to the last song on the album, which is the title track. Um, and this brings us back to where we started the song, Sleepless. And uh, this tune sounds really good musically. It's really enjoyable. It's um, I'm going to bitch about the drum machine still. Uh, this is one of maybe three or four songs on the album I honestly truly enjoyed. This might be my favorite song on the album. If it isn't my favorite song on the album, I want to say that probably Can't Stop, maybe. <laughs> Sleepless intro. <laughs> you know, um... Yeah, that that's kind of where I'm at there. Um, but the, if you like Sleepless Intro, you'll very much enjoy Sleepless. The rest of the album kind of just turns into this mellow, laid-back, what-the-hell-happened kind of vibe. You know, I'm just... Not my thing, you know. Too mellow for me, you know. I, I've... I'm, I was never one to play the slow music, get the candles going, you know, kind of blah, 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 you know. I, I subscribe more to the Fast Times at uh, Ridge Mountain High, you know, put on, what is it, side one of uh, Zeppelin 4, that's all you need, or is it side two, whatever, either way, put on Zeppelin 4, just let Zeppelin 4 run, you're good. <laughs> all right, um... This is definitely, like, the way I would describe this, this is music by the fireplace, making love, not sex, not fucking, making love on a bearskin rug after, you know, drinking a little cognac or brandy from the big-ass snifter and getting intoxicated both on the fumes and the subtle nectar that you have spilled down your palate before you savor the palate of your fine lady friend. But... That sex on that bare skin run, let's, go, let's be honest, that's going to be vanilla, it's going to be missionary, 
and it's just gonna be slow paced love making. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but this is not the chick riding you, <laughs> cowgirl style. You know, getting hot and heavy that way. It's it's not that there, there's not enough funk into this album for that. Okay, um, and I've covered pretty much the rest of this. Uh, when the album first started. I honestly thought it would end up staying in my collection, and that's not going to be the case. There's not enough on here worth preserving. It, it's, it's the same problem as every other album I've kind of been covering lately from this time period. If you cut this album down to half this album and released only half this album as an EP, reducing the price significantly, it would have sold a lot more copies and people would have been a lot more interested still in what could be coming this being sold the way it is it doesn't work for me it's it's too much slow songs not enough up tempo that's what it means anyways folks i'm done leave me your thoughts your views your opinions that's what the comment section is for while you're down in the comment section you might notice that there is a link that can take you over to patreon please feel free to click that you can throw a few bucks my way uh there is a like button, a subscribe button, and that little bell for notifications. Please hit those. Peace. Love. Take care.